Okay, today we are doing the keychain project. Now, this is a very technical project, and you need to do it exactly as you see in this video or as written on this paper, or else your keychain will not work. So, please make sure and follow along. Pause, rewind the video if necessary, and make sure you get every single step exactly as I do. Also, I suggest that when you're watching this video, you let it play for, oh, one step, and then copy exactly as I did uh, after pausing the video. So watch what I do for one step, pause it, go ahead and do it yourself before continuing on. Don't watch the whole thing and then try to copy every single step that I showed you. Uh, that's the reason we have videos, is so that you can follow step by step and rewind if necessary to help yourself out. Okay, so we're going to open a new part file in Inventor. I already have one over. Open. We're going to begin a new 2D sketch. And we're going to make a rectangle, and we're going to make it 0.75 by 2 inches wide. So 0.75 by 2. Start a new 2D sketch. You can just go ahead and hit your XY plane. We'll make a rectangle, doesn't matter what size. And then go ahead and take dimension. And we want to make... Our horizontal, one of our horizontal sides, 2. And one of our vertical sides, 0.75. Okay, so now we've got the perfect sized rectangle here. Okay, what's the next step? Next step is use the fillet tool and round the ed edges to 0.125 inches. So, we also, just like we did in 3D a couple days ago, we can fill it in 2D. It's right here, uh, just to the right of rectangle and whatnot. So you click fill it. This one looks a little bit different uh, because uh, we don't have this big menu like we did in 3D. This time it's just asking you for what do you want the radius of your curve to be. Okay. Um, so if you go right to the corner that you want to fill it, and you put your mouse right on that 90 degree corner, you'll see a green rounded line show up, and that's just going to show you what the fillet will end up looking at, like. So you can just go ahead and click, and we're going to get every single corner. Okay, perfect, our fillets are in. Next step, we're going to use the circle tool and make a .125 inch circle in the upper left corner of the shape. The circle should start or, I'm sorry, the circle should be started on the dot seen in that corner. So let's take a look. In that corner, upper left, is this one. And there's a dot right here. This is where we want to start our circle. So I'm going to take the circle tool, click right on that dot. Notice, as soon as my mouse is over that dot, it turns green. And just to start, I'll make a random size circle. And we'll come back with our dimension tool. And click on the circle. 0.125. Okay, good. We're looking good. Next, we want to finish the sketch and click extrude. We're going to click inside the rectangular shape we just made so that it is selected and set our extrude depth to 0 0.0625. Please make sure you set uh, this number correctly, 0 0.0625. Okay, so I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to hit extrude, click inside of the rectangular shape, and we want 0 0.0625. Hit OK. Awesome. We've got our dog tag or keychain started. We're going to begin next for step number four. We're going to begin a new 2D sketch and click on the flat face of our object so we can use it as our drawing face. Okay, so we're going to go back to start 2D sketch. Click on this flat surface and we're going to sketch again. We have to grab the text tool next and make a text box on that shape. And we want to set our text size to 0.24 inches and then type our name in that box. Okay? So, we haven't used the text tool yet, but it's right underneath fillet. It. It's right here. So you click on that. And to use the text tool, 
you need to click and drag out a box that you'll be typing in and please make a nice big box basically from one end of the rectangle to the other just like I'm doing now okay third thing you want to set this text to 0.24 inches 0.24 okay and then you want to type your last name in this box and then move the text around if you need to at the end. So, I type my name. Perfect. Now, to move our name around, if you try to click and drag that name right now, it's just going to make another text box. We don't want that. You have to hit escape a couple times on your keyboard to get back to your mouse. Now we can click and drag our text around to get it nice and centered how we want it. Okay, so move it to a space where you like it. Okay. Next step, number five, finish the, the sketch and click extrude. And we're going to once again extrude 0 0.0625 and make sure it's extruding out away from the keychain. So, finish sketch, extrude. We can click right on the text. Okay. We want 0 0.0625, and it can be a little bit confusing or hard to see. So if you need to, click on your click on your uh, view cube up here and move around to see whether or not that text is actually coming out from the keychain, because that's what we want. We don't want it going into the keychain. Okay, and hit OK when you're done, and there we have it. Our dog tag is pretty much set up. We need to do a save as, okay, and uh, this says inventor files. Our, our folder is now called part files, so I'll switch that quick. We're going to save as and save into our part files folder, and we're going to change the file name to just our last name. So let's do that quick. File, save as. Here's my part files folder. If you need to, go to your drop down and go find your part files. I'm going to save it as my last name. The last step says we're going to go to save as once again and hover over it. Okay. When you do that, an option called save copy as will show up. And we want to click that. And we want to switch the file type to STL file. So we're going to go file, hover over save as. And you'll notice right here, save copy as shows up. And then we're going to switch the save as type right here. We're going to switch this to an STL file. Okay. And go ahead and give that a save as well. After you are done with all of that, um, you can go ahead and this last step, we're going to just ignore for now. Uh, ours will be a little bit differently than what you see on the video here. Uh, that's all the steps that we need to do for now. Once you've saved it, and then you've saved it again as an STL file, you are done. Further instruction will come soon. If you have questions, use your neighbors first for help. Rely on that undo button. Use this video, and then ask me if you're still not able to solve it. Good luck.